Hello again, you are watching Exo Photography. My name is Daniel. Um, I have been collimating my telescope uh, several times now, as you can see in this video. And today I am going to sum it up for you, uh, going through what each collimator is good at or bad at. So stay tuned. So, first of all, we are going to take a look at the first laser I bought, the Hutec combined 2 inch and 1 quarter inch. It comes in a nice uh, leather box uh, with some instructions uh, and a hex key for collimating the collimator, uh, which I also have made a video on that you might see here. This collimator is, uh, is quite nice, uh, it uh, consists of a, a regular laser, uh, a um, target plate, what you want to call it, uh, but the innovation Hootech has made is this locking mechanism. So when I am turning this, uh, this collar, the rubber rings expands and is supposed to center the laser inside the focuser just perfectly so you don't have to use the thumb screws on the focuser. I have been uh, collimating my telescope several times with this one uh, and just out of fun I might uh, check the, the center spot, uh, center the center spot uh, onto the primary mirror, uh, release this collimator and put it back in and tighten the rings once again just to check uh, if it is uh, consistent and it wasn't okay so i tried this several times and each time the spot wandered around a little bit not much but way too much to hold my um, fast newtonian f3.4 uh, into collimation or, or just me relying on the result so this laser collimator is probably very good at uh, slower Newtonians, maybe a 5 or slower, uh, and for visual astronomy. But for me, it's going back into the box after uh, I have been using that and also discovered that the results may vary. I moved on to the Howie Gladder laser, which I also have my uh, video on. This laser, the build quality is uh, is very good. Um, it's uh, made entirely out of aluminum, and it consists of a regular laser inside. However, the You can buy adapters. One adapter is included. This is the one millimeter aperture stop, which makes the laser dot even more precise. So if I just screw this on, it's a bit smaller, making the adjustments more precise. However, if you really want to make uh, the collimation even more precise, you can use it together with the with the tube lug. The tube lug is a, a bar load um, collimation tool which makes the laser spot so big that the whole laser spot covers the primary mirror center mark and that is reflected back to the target plate and so you can actually see the silhouette of the primary center mark and you uh, adjust the collimation screws of the primary mirror so that the center mark uh, covers the hole here. Uh, and that way you can make the collimation 
uh, much more precise than you can with uh, just a laser. So this combination is uh, just as convenient and quick as the Hutec laser, uh, but it's more sturdy, uh, it's uh, more precise and also um, a bit more expensive. But then I took the the big plunge, the big next step for me in collimation, and I bought uh, this this tool. Ah, I can see if I can get the cap off. The Cat's Eye Infinity XLKP Dash uh, A. This is a kind of an eyepiece with a mirror inside. It consists of two looking holes, one in the center and one offset. Um, the whole idea with this one is to look and align reflections from the center mark. And I have made a video when I am uh, attaching the new center mark onto my primary mirror. Um, the whole idea is to align the center mark in a lock and key position. Um, it is so precise that when I just nudge the secondary uh, mirror adjustment screws, um, it uh, it is uh, is reflecting very nice on on this one, so I can get it very more much more precise than with a Howie Glider laser. Um, the only back back draw, the negative if it is negative, is that you have to take out the primary mirror uh, and attach the new center mark, either the triangle one or the the hotspot version, uh, which I went for. But this is making circles around regular laser collimation tools, so I can highly recommend the cat's eye uh, if you have a false Newtonian and you don't rely on lasers. So, um, that's it for now. Uh, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please share and like them and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss when I upload new videos.